Phelan, this is kind of a sad day. It is? Why? Yeah. Well, you know, I know you did your best, and we've lost Jordan, the J-Man, the Massus thing. What? What? Uh, but, I, I mean, you tried really hard to recreate him, but... I, I did I did what I could, man. It, I did it, what it, I could. It, it needs googly... Uh, don't get... <laughs> googly eyes. J-Man, you're forever a blue ball in our book. Are you looking to promote your upcoming Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or Steam Greenlight project for as little as 35 wet, stinky caches? Send us a note at show at linuxgamecast.com for more information. Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly, the Duke Nukem Forever of Linux games finally gets an update. NVIDIA and AMD release new drivers, Steam downloads Windows games, question mark, and Linux has a new zombie survival golf simulator. Then we throw the chairs at stacking. All this, plus your hate mail. Let's go. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the only show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, and more importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Produced, recorded, streamed, and published only with penguin sauce. Tonight, Pedro murders a prostitute, Jordan <gasps> plays cards, and I die more? Question mark. But we're also going to throw the review chairs at stacking from our fine friends at Double Fine, following us on the G+. And we're going to dip in to the hate mill bag. But what's been going on, um, Masses Fig? Oh, I've just been buried to death in work. Great. Elaborate. <laughs> Anything Oh, it's so just... Lots of lots of crazy crap, keeping me up late at night and waking me up early in the morning. How about you, sweet Jakes? Well, Mint has officially defeated me. I failed at my first Linux TM. You and basically. So... Uh... <laughs> Actually, I've been running Corora 19 for the past week, and so far so good. I've had tons of updates. Nothing has broken, so I'm happy. That really worries me, because every obscure Linux distro that you install ends up dying. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's kind of like he has a black thumb for Linux distros. We, we, should, we should start having him use Ubuntu constantly. No, he is and the then it will go he, away. He is absolutely the summer glow. <laughs> <laughs> Linux distros. He shows up. Game over, man. Nuke it from O. Just start over. Move to something else. Rebuild your base. As for me, not a whole lot. We're under a new embargo, which is always interesting. That will be posted Monday along with this show. And if you're not watching live, you should be watching live at linuxgamecast.com forward slash live. Cleverly hid that business there. Um, do want to scream at Gustavo because he is in chat realm. The most important part, yep. that's you. The trolliest of trolls, the worst of the worst. Um, what are those... Flesh-eating things called in the library? Oh, um, hey, something in Narada. Vasta Narada, that's you yes. guys. We have no control over them. They have the mind of their own. They are the zombie demon hordes of the internet. But Gustavo is there. And I'm going to give you a special scream because, you know, sometimes bad Gustavo. You even scolded <laughs> yourself the other day. Good on you. But he has some special access which I'm just making this up. He just spends a lot of time on Indie Database finding games that I can't even find. So, good on <laughs> good him. On. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, let's rub some nipples because... Oh. Mm, oh yeah. I'm, feel, I'm feeling a bit frisky yeah. here. Oh, cool. Well, you, you, you can check out our fully erect nipples at Linux Game Pat Cat the pop pop Linux Gamecast.com slash podcast, where we have our wonderful wonderful RSS feeds for SD video, HD video, SD audio, 
we got some sexy ass Amazon affiliate links that you should click every time you want to buy something off Amazon and have the UPS man come by and shut up your wife. Sweet. In addition, if you want to toss us some wet, stinky cash, we have donation buttons. One time donation gets your name on the leaderboard, and 10 bucks gets you one month's access to show notes. Tree Fiddy a month's recurring donation will get your name on the leaderboard and a shameless plug, and 10 bucks a month gets you all of the above. Sweet. How about that? Sweet. We, we, we also got uh, some live goodness at linuxgamecast.com. Oh, no, we got Chat Realm. Yeah. Chat Realm. Chat, Chat Realm, Realm statically yes. linked. We, can t we do not use LD config on our forums, and we will kill you if you attempt to suggest it. But check that out. Linuxgamecast.com slash discussions dash two is the forum we equivalent got a of Chat Realm. categories there, man. We got the old discussions. This is where yeah. Chat Realm, this is where we are the other... Six days of the week, you can find us yeah. here. Join in with everything except whatever Jordan will come up out of nowhere. <laughs> LinkedIn, probably. Um, we also have what we like to call the Duchesne categories. Oh, Way yes. off topic distortion, which he is definitely in. Talking about the latest Wolverine, but you can also find um, us discussing Steam on Linux, Linux games, and Linux help. So, the thing to take away from this is join our forums, or else you can go to youtube.com slash linuxgamecast yeah. and check out all our videos. I'm terrified. We got players. That's fun. Stupefied, even. Damn you. Bedazzled. Oh, bedazzled Shocked you and your and sleep. appalled. Anyways, we got players, we got reviews, we got B-reels and how-tos, all sorts of good stuff. You should check that out. Are you and enough? we have... For whatever goddamn reason, <laughs> some sort of face butt page that this jerk runs. Yeah. Put him in charge so, of it. I said, "Oh, you big give, on." Give, yeah. give him an iota of power, and he goes nuts. No. So, Pedro, tell him about it. It's our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. You can drop us a like there if you happen to not be on Twitter or on Google Plus. You can follow us there. Keep up to date with our shenanigans. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, then, finally, we have our second favorite Kiwi, our favorite subreddit that's been beaten, beat again with the ugly stick, Linux underscore gaming, it's where we green. get a lot of the material for <laughs> our shows. <laughs> yeah. We got, there, we do, well, we do. Uh, it's also a good place for discussion, help, all sorts of stuff related to Linux gaming. We post our show links there sometimes, so you should upvote them totally. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless <laughs> plug. This is the horror ourselves out section, is it not, Ven? True words have never been spoken. But now that we're done prostituting ourselves for your entertainment. My only problem with prostitutes. All right, there's no. two, but. All right, do, do tell. Do tell, Ven. One involves the uh, adversion to Airwolf. So the second one is they tend to smell a bit. They do tend to smell a bit. But you know what doesn't smell is a public service announcement from your good friends at Linux Gamecast Weekly. Well, it's also kind of a thing we do every week now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got to educate you chillins on we. the real truth. Now, you found this particularly interesting, did you not? This is actually pretty cool, and it brings up an interesting question about uh, Steam's Valve platform. Or now, who brought Valve's this up? Yeah. Uh, this is from Chat Realm. So, th this, yes, this is from Chat Realm, and this is, um, what's his Rat. name? Rat. Rat, yes. <laughs> and he found out that if you start downloading a game in a wind or windowed ver Windows version of Steam and copy it over to your Linux Steam, the download will pick up and continue, which... I find interesting because we were we've been talking about this for a while that Steam should have an option to be able to download just the game data. So if you're playing Open Morrowind or uh, Arc Sliver Talus or whatever the hell you want to play one of these engine recodes, then yeah. you can you can just download the files directly. And I'm thinking so that there there either. there's nothing. This what? is an entirely software limitation, and it's a yep. poorly implemented one as well because if you can download <laughs> Windows games on your Linux Steam. All right, all right, all right. Calm down for a minute. 
<laughs> no, no, Swing I will range. not calm down. Quit Just swinging, it, man. Quit, quit swinging it everywhere. Um, I think this is a neat thing because previously what you'd have to do is maybe get your wine going and you'd have to play your Linux native client in an offline mode because you can't be logged in dose. Yep. Steam only allows for one in instance to be logged in. And something that really took my attention is Steam automatically tries to launch the game with wine. What do you, what, what are your thoughts about that, P-Man? That's... Uh, well, actually, it's kind of going back to what we said last week. If it's a game that doesn't require a lot of dependencies, if it works, why not let people do it? Like Jordan said, it's a software limitation, and apparently it's not doing a very good job at limiting anything. Indeed. So, that's a little interesting tidbit. But going back yeah. to the topic of smelly, smelly whores. The more you know. <laughs> Come on, what, what about yes. them? So, you, you, I, th I thought you were going to pick that up. Well, <laughs> oh, in that sure. case, Hang on. Bring, Pitch it sticking to me. on... Eh, eh. No, we, we, we do have something of a... It's not a bipedal. It has four legs, even though um, Jordan has They've tried broke. multiple times to put chains and wheels on it. But it's a gelatinous gray goo of thing that we beat every week. And that is our Steam Licks Update of the, of the Week. week. And yeah. Oh, that's a great one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminds I, me I, of last night. I like the way night. the segment is starting. <laughs> Ooh, so boy. I already got a chubby. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited. <laughs> Good thing I'm sitting behind a table. Otherwise, nipple this... rom. Mm -hmm. I, I am aroused by the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. This is It a... is a very misleading name, though. It is a very misleading game. I, I completely agree with you. I saw the title, and I'm like, oh, this is like a Thief Dark or a Thief type yep. game. And no, like, what nope. is it about? I've never it, heard it, of it. It's a point and clip it, click adventure game by the guys who did uh, Book of Unwritten Tales. Uh, one, one of the early games on Linux Steam. But it is an episodic style adventure. Paying yeah. the 22 bucks gets you access to all the episodes. And it's a point and click investigation game. It's kind of interesting. It may not be everyone's thing. But these guys have been in the Linux camp for a while now. At least, yep. in, at least in terms of the steamboat. And <laughs> if you pick up the game until the 30th, you get 10% off. So. Ooh. so there you go. If you like point-and-click adventure games, if you like the Book of Unwritten Tales, or Telltale game style games, you should probably check this out. So, right. Requirements. Ah. Looks ah. decent. You know, definitely worth thing if point-and-click is your business but eh. then then it's time to duel i'm just gonna sit here blank face because i don't know what you nerds are talking about nerds anyways uh this was posted on linux underscore gaming under a post titled we listened to our players and decided to release Forgotten Realms CCG on Linux with your votes on Greenlight. The game can be available on Steam. So, uh, it's not Forgotten down. Realms, it's Forgotten Myths. Forgotten Myths. Ah, same <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Trading cards, Wizards of the Coast, that kind of crap. New Anyways, epic cards. if, if, wait, if wait. you don't know what a CCG is, it's a collectible card game. And this is one you play on your computator. You mean kind of like what Gabe has turned um, Steam into? Kind of like it's like Kinda, it's a, yeah. it's ripping off Steam, the digital distribution platform. This is the first time I've seen a game actually rip off a distribution platform. It's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> and but, don't, don't worry, uh, you can download it. The um, this bad, bad, bad game. Yes, but and, and you, and but, you know it, but, it's, but, it's but, a but wait, 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 wait. Too, so. I mean, it's not even a deb. That's why I'm saying <laughs> really yeah. bad. It, it's a tough. It's a zip. Yeah. It, it it is a zip. And please, please stop zipping your Unity games. There <sighs> are there are better compression algorithms out there, and there are better archive formats under Linux that you but should Jordan, use. Jordan, Jordan, I, I hit the export button. It's Linux ready, right? 
out of the box, upload it. Don't oh yeah, it, right? absolutely. Just press press a button. Yeah. Press a button. Press it. Press it. So that's the thing. What's this thing going to run us if we decide to purchase it? That's uh, an excellent question. Hmm. Yes, yeah, uh, very good I, question. I, that that Let's is a very go to good this question. Mysterious I, th- I, th- I think I think you can play it for free, but you have to buy the cards or Wait something. Wait a minute, I, I just click store. Oh, store. Oh, store. Yeah. oh, so this is one of those. Um, you get into all this note because you have a loaded gun in the back of your temple. <laughs> and that's the only reason I could ever play this type of game. Uh, speaking for myself, uh, and <laughs> then they try to um, pinch and quit monetize you. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's got teeny tiny microtransactions to fund it. Apparently, yeah. Not that I would know because gotta, the game buy on my end. Cards. On but, my end, the game crashes uh, after the connecting to server message. So, um, I I actually managed to log in. It was fine. Then I spent a good. Three minutes of clicking on things, going do thing, do thing, do thing. Went back to the site and was like, "Oh, you need to join." I was like, "What? A, a, oh, it's a card RM." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, changing gears, then. Oh man! Change gear, change gear. Murder prostitute. Change the gear. The standard opening for our any any story we have covering Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> Power. But yeah, it's actually it's probably the biggest update to Euro Truck Simulator 2 that we've seen in a long time. Unfortunately, it does not for Linux. Because as you can see, there's new vehicle improvements, there's some simulation improvements, there's even some gameplay fixes, some map fixes, some model corrections, and even some code that was optimize to get the game to run properly. There are some sound fixes, some steam fixes, and some modding. Okay. No, what about no, Linux? Yeah, they don't say anything. Breathe, but Pedro, breathe. You, you actually enjoy the peacefulness of maybe this uh, lorry simulator <laughs> makes you feel employed. So... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I had that coming. But yeah, actually the Linux version is still in testing, and all the problems that were present in the early tests, at least on my end, are still here. Running the game full screen disables my external monitor, and there's still some V-Sync issues that cause some tearing on the textures, so they kind of need to get on that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know... Glitchy as that sounds, I think we got Die More Edition. Well, uh, we covered yes, this sometime die, back. Yes, Die More Edition. Long live subtraction. Yes, Edition. Uh, I think several months back, we covered this when it was just crawling out of its mum's womb in a cold, dark future dominated by mega corporate. We gave it oh, a mention. Wow. Okay, so that's the description. <laughs> what it is, it's a top-down pixel shooter with uh, guns, which is... <laughs> now, uh, stick with me. Re- really? I, th- I thought they were going to shoot people with spoons. Well, you see, that's why I said stick with me. You first thought spoons, but no. Yeah, of No, no. They completely mixed it up on us this time. They're using guns. What kind of that's idiot shoots really another weird. person with a gun? Seriously. Spoons are far superior but this is a thing, and it is now available. This got greenlit. So. <laughs> well, so someone wanted it. And it's currently available for twelve ninety nine in the Steam store. I don't know. Um, I didn't have a horrible time with it, but I was like, this would have been stupidly awesome in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't gotten around to buying this one. I don't think I will. Yeah, I, I mean, you run around that. You, you yeah, have... <laughs> I, I, I sort of like the visual aesthetic of how like you transfer from room to room. But does that translate to good gameplay? Eh, I'm not willing to take the risk. Hotline something. Yeah. Yes, it it does look like Hotline Miami with extra pixels all around the screen, but. Uh, I actually sent the guys at Paradox an email, and they did say that there's going to be a special version coming out soon that includes uh, melee weapons. So, 
so nice. If you don't want to shoot people, if you just want to use a spoon like Jordan and Ven were saying. Well, <laughs> maybe how else are lucky. you supposed to shoot people, Pedro? <laughs> I don't I don't see how a gun can shoot people. You use a gun to eat cereal. Seriously, get rid of it. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, frustrated. Okay, no. And, uh, any, anyways. I, Shut I room. Think... I expect screenshots of that before the end <laughs> of this episode. <laughs> but speaking of the stench of Shat Realm, I think it's time to kick our dead horse under the deck for another week. Don't well, you, Ben? Uh, can, can, can we make another frosty, tasty beverage from it this week, sir? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. Gonna... And after that frosty, tasty beverage, we're going to be back with the regular news. Let's do it. And we're back with the regular news, not the Steam news, but stuff relating to Linux gaming as a whole, not necessarily in the Steam corner, of course. This first story is handed off to our resident AMD bitch, Pedro Mateus. He's going to tell us about the new OpenGL 4.3 beta <laughs> driver. Oh my god! OpenGL 4.4 <laughs> just got released. Ah! <laughs> OpenGL 4.3 yeah, support. That tell them about it, Pedro. Thing. <laughs> that was the first thing that popped into my head. You can see, oh shit, OpenGL 4.4 is out and we don't support anything other than 4.0. Oh no! We have to do something. So yeah, we get this. The FGLRX 13.15 beta, which comes with, besides the 4.3 OpenGL, comes with a few more fixes like uh, Enduro technology on Ubuntu platforms and uh, some Maya visual improvements. They say that the, the performance in Unigine in Heaven was increased about 11% on single GPU configurations so i decided to put that to the test you can check it out on the forums but there was actually okay granted it was different distro so that may explain the, the discrepancy but there was actually a 3.3 percent decrease in performance uh, so... i gotta admit that was a phronix worthy <laughs> benchmark yeah <laughs> Lara Bell's hey, got nothing hey, at, at, at least you didn't <laughs> reference just yourself. If this if this was Pharonix, <laughs> the link to the uh, AMD driver would be hosted on Pharonix.com. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, this is the brilliant thing. They, they made a post about this, and I accidentally went there. And the one out of the 50 links that linked to the actual driver was a link to their form that linked to the driver. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Self-referential much, Lara Bell. was like... That that's impressive for you, Laravel. <laughs> Who knows? Made a Laravel. <laughs> so should we bother but, with these yeah. drivers? Are they worth it? I mean, did you see any benefits whatsoever? Uh, actually, yes. The source games. Uh, that was the, there used to be that slight hitching issue. It's a lot better now. It's much much better. So. If you're running an AMD card, you should definitely update to these ones. OpenGL performance may not be as improved as they claim it is, but at least on source games, it's a lot better. Yeah. So, Ven, Sounds what neat. about NVIDIA? Well, we got this bit right here. OpenGL driver support. OpenGL 4.4 drivers. And we got some release notes. Because, well, NVIDIA doesn't uh, suck. <laughs> as much anyway and when I say suck I do mean at least they maintain parity with the Windows counterpart this brings support yeah. for OpenGL 4.4 in GS well GLSL 440 Fermi and Kepler based GPUs are needed to get access to this sweet stinky goodness but you know, it's like it just makes you warm and fuzzy inside because you know my sweetheart here I know he also has some sweet NVIDIA power behind oh, him oh yeah <laughs> and uh, it's brilliant. Um, now, you're saying, oh, what, what does all this mean? Like, nothing to the Cur game. Currently, I... nothing's really using OpenGL 4.4. Yeah, but it might the reason we bring this up is because it's there. It's for you guys to use, developers, because uh, maybe one or two of you might develop <laughs> games that watch the show. Trust me, no, you're just not going to knock you out. Oh, oh, no, no. People who, who make games don't watch the show. 
No. Just like Magumbo in the chat realm. He makes games and he doesn't watch the show. Lies! Yeah. Nah, not at all. But this is currently available. Build it yourself or grab it from XORG. Edges and all that fun business. But, you know, what do you think about him, Pedro? You know, with our supreme awesomeness with these drivers. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I can think about is still hearing the echoes of AMD going, shit, NVIDIA's got an OpenGL 4.4 driver and no. we don't support anything other than 4.0. Oh, no. No, I, I, I was talking about this before we started recording, but like in a year, what is AMD's excuse going to be when people <laughs> want their to play their Linux games and AMD doesn't have any drivers out? What like uh, what is there? I can't do a Cosby be? impression, but I was like, because you know the <laughs> Well, people, you'll though. see. The, what you get to go is the you, thing get the in the and you get the open CL implementation and the wah, wah, wah. And then you wrap it all together in the oh, Cam. Then that you was, wake up and you come. We, we, we've we've gotten red flagged by like six hate groups now, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut that one. But this is cursing because this might be a game designed just for us yes do you like golf do you yeah. like shooting zombies yeah do you like playing golf and shooting zombies simultaneously possibly then then this game might be for you i picked this off uh we all know as New York. for five Let's bucks basically you go around playing holes of golf but as you're walking and driving to the where your ball landed you get attacked by zombies hmm <laughs> So it's kind of like the now, Vatican, right? Kind of. <laughs> I, don't, same, I don't know. Same concept? It's, on, it's on sale on Desura right now for five bucks. So, it, like, on, honestly, for the laugh I got for the 30 minutes I played this, yeah, it, it was worth the five bucks. So you're saying it's good, goodbye? Uh, it's definitely a unique game. It's something worth checking out. Oh, look at that. It supports oh, yeah. controllers. <laughs> controller support. How about, oh, look, wireless gerbil and, um... He can count to nine. Well, zero. Zed, he's a real boy <laughs> yes. with Tilda. You, you, you have a shit ton of golf clubs in this game, and part, it, 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 it is a golf sim with an FPS in the middle of it, in between the holes. Nice. Now, the one thing that I saw when I was watching this is like, um, hmm, home. He kind of hit me with the uh, the curse of the nerd. Combines first person shooting with survival horror golf driving adventure. Da -da -da. I was like, well. That sounds completely mental. And I it, happen to know a lot genius. that review games with lawn chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Just say may, maybe... Lawn chairs? What, what, kind, what kind of bizarre-ass system is that? Maybe it's just, kind of, a kind of of man, man, just a match in Tartarus. Yeah, what do you think? Could Tartar be. sauce. Possibly. Mm -hmm. It could mm -hmm. happen. But where is that at? Hell... Ooh. Health Dance Curse. Yeah. Healthdanescurse.com. But uh, yes, yeah, it's, a, it's in the show notes. notes. <laughs> All these links are in the show notes. You should check those out while you're watching the show. Follow along. But it's yeah. re get ready to grow, maybe overgrow. Well, you know, I'm. Or you can just sit there. Wait. Unfairly <laughs> call this. The Duke Nukem Forever of Linux games, <laughs> maybe. Man, man, oh, maybe. oh, oh, oh! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that Half Life Three has sort of superseded that. Well, that's <laughs> you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> this is from Wolfire.com. Overgrowth A200 video change log. Yet another. Now you can actually pick this up. There's Windows. <laughs> For itty bitty price of thirty dollars, now you're like, why is this so high? Was it a Kickstarter? Nope. Did it have a alpha or a beta? Yep. And when was that? Oh, about two years ago. So <laughs> um, it, it had a really early alpha. <laughs> you kind of missed out on getting in at the start. But if you uh, to... actually, uh, Maddie, this is by the same guys who made Luguru, uh, Wolfire Games. Yeah, they did the first Tumble Bundle as well. Worth mentioning. Yeah, the the, the team behind Wolfire is the exact same people behind Humble. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. 
it's available. There's still pre-ordering for Overgrowth. So I've been out. Yeah, kind of a change log, but I just wanted yeah. to bring this up. Because it's a thing, I would love to see it actually come to fruition. Maybe, J-Man? Am I crazy? Yeah, it might be interesting. People? I don't know. Luger, <clears throat> Luger was fun as a game to dick around in, so if this is more of the same, then maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, you know, one thing that... That's just the thing. Lugaru didn't have much going for it. Like you said, it was fun going in and just dicking around, but when it came down to actually doing something, it, I felt it was a bit lacking. Maybe controls would have been better. One thing that impressed me about the original Lugaru was it was like 40 megs. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like it was a game some kid coded in high school, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like his pet project. Uh, right. I don't remember. <laughs> but let's go or exploring. The, let's go course, exploring I mean. since we're talking about things that you <gasps> can buy if you want to pay through your teeth. <laughs> Which is incredibly difficult as Pedro learned. That's why he has dentures. Planet Explorers. He, he has dentures for other reasons than, you know, that. Hush. Jail was hard. That's all I'm saying. So this is the thing. Check this out. <laughs> what, what's it about? It's Planet Explorers. You can find it at planetexplorers.pathia.net. And they've just released the 0.61 version. You know, they're in, still in the early alphas. But you can start playing the game now. If you're willing to shell out 21 bucks. With after downloading a slow ass torrent, I am greeted with the, you know, the main screen and oh you have to pay twenty one bucks if you want to get in the game. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm actually in your camp for that one because you know the download page should say, um Oh, by the way, this is for the Kickstarters and all that, but I understand the price. I understand the Kickstarter pricing mechanism. Because they, you know, this is what people originally donated to fund the original project. That's awesome, and if you want to get in, get a wet, stinky taste of it, that's what you should pay to get into it. Am I wrong? Smoking crazies? You yeah. are smoking crazies. You're smoking wacky there tobacco, a, but you are kind of right. There was a beta version that was only $15 in the Kickstarter. Oh. So they could have gone for well, that. You, you still got to pay for it. It's kind of iffy for playing, paying for a potential game. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, it is actually a thing. And I mean, it, it doesn't look horrible. Yeah, it, it looks good. And the premise actually interests me. It's yeah, sort of it does look the neat. definition of sandbox. Now, what yeah. is that laser sword thingy come from laser glaive laser saber <laughs> that was ripped off from something i've seen that before i don't know some sort yeah, of light sword or <laughs> well, well, maybe, maybe we could call it like maybe a saber uh, i don't know yeah it, uh, yeah like i said I, i'm i'm i'm, I'm with either like light saber. sword or laser saber yeah uh, laser saber uh, definitely and you know some of the scope bits i was like all right well that's neat because this is apparently your fucked screen <laughs> oh yeah, this 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 is <laughs> oh, Shadow shit. of the Colossus gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> they have guns. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, balls. But yeah, let's uh, let's get on with speaking some of other things legends. that you're gonna have to pay through the teeth for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Legends of Ethereus. It's now available on Green Man Gaming for PC. And yes, that includes Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, there no, was actually I'm confused. a little snafu earlier. It clearly says PC right here. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there was actually a little snafu early in the week right. that uh, it, reportedly it was only the Mac and Windows versions that were available. Mm -hmm. No Linux. There was no Linux mentioned anywhere. And people were actually starting to freak out. So I sent them an email. And they said, oh, yeah, that was a little mistake. We uh, we support the Linux version with the Green Man Gaming key. Cool. But then I decided to download the game and test it. And as soon as I got to the... Um, I actually posted on Google+. Plus. I'll leave it in the notes after the show. Uh, there was actually a teeny tiny issue with the greeting screen. You'll see it later. <laughs> so, but 
yeah, I mean, that was the thing, and I totally get it. Uh, with, but they're doing 30 quid. Now, here's... Yeah. Here, here's, here's my take on this. Oh, fine. Look at how, Go ahead, interject. I will, I will. Look how much I care about this stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, now, don't panic. As P-Man just said, you know, if you go to Green Man Gaming, it might just say PC, which is a generic term for we don't speak Linux. Or yep. Give a rat's ass, but that key will work. So don't panic. But here's what you might want to panic about, because we were all part of the multiplayer beta. Yep. And love the guys. Thanks for the keys. Uh, it was completely unplayable. Even on the box we're running right now, which is our Steam box and 32-bit, 1204 LTS, running mid-range NVIDIA hardware. Take a drink. Didn't. <laughs> Take two. Um, here, just do it like that, because that's harder to use these fingers. Um, <laughs> so, couldn't even play it. Uh, the first like alpha 13 yeah. before 14 you could actually move the camera around and all that then it just crash nosedive during your first quest this one you couldn't do. now this current one hopefully they fixed everything but i just maybe am i being crazy j man just a I... little bit of caution before you start throwing <laughs> that many quid in that direction yeah i would say you should probably have that maybe a little demo since it's up now yep maybe a little free to play here five levels have fun with our mmo well zooming uh, right yeah, along assuming it's 30 <sighs> bucks Guess a not. demo would not be a <laughs> <at> all. <laughs> pedro pedro I, I, mm -hmm. I think i think it's time to move on to the next story <laughs> yes <laughs> f1 on my <laughs> linux on my uh, linux this comes from RootGamer.com, and, um, well, it's an F1 racing game. Yeah. I know you guys give zero fucks about racing <laughs> games. Well, Pedro hey, likes some more arcade I racing. like racing games, just not F1 games. For some reason, they don't appeal to me very eh, much. Well, you know, my, my first thought was racing game. Hells yes. <laughs> Second thought was like, oh, wait, it's in the blenders. Hmm. <laughs> Huh. So, let's inspect further, shall we? I was like, oh yes, indeed, Blender Game Engine. Now, um, I'm not knocking Blender Game Engine. Uh, really, I am. But there's about two people on this blue ball that can make a decent game with that engine, and... Aha, uh -huh, blue balls. <laughs> take a drink. Um, And I'm kind of worried maybe he's not one of them? But uh, it could be completely awesome. Uh, any thoughts about this? Okay, admittedly, I looked at it, and when I first started watching the video, I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't exactly F1, the true F1, like some people like to call it. And then I saw the Matrix level, and I'm like, mm, Oh, that one pissed that you off, too, look, and I was like, really? Yeah. Really? And that does we're, not... We're doing this Matrix level in 2013. <laughs> I wanted Matrix. I, I would just give Jordan a hug because all you see is Matrix code. Matrix code. Yep. Well, it's to, not to doing be fair, them any uh, favors. Gustavo Brazil brings up a good point. Racing games on Linux are sorely lacking. We have Super Tux Kart, yeah. and that's it. That is it. So and... it, it's good for people like Ven and Pedro who like driving in their fake cars to go and play some games on Linux. Says the man who doesn't own a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. But since you did that so wrong, why don't you, um, oh, I don't know. Do go to the right. wrong page. Mm. I was going to say <laughs> fuck <laughs> off, but <laughs> you're still here. So this is cinematic puzzle platformer, Monochroma, and it has... A Kickstarter that conforms to our rules. Finally, we can talk about it because it has a playable demo. Look at this checklist but... right here, man. Slick looking puzzle platformer. Check. Yep. Reasonable funding goal. Yep. Check. Linux demo. Hella check. Oh, yeah. Shut, Shut up, up and, and take, take our money. money. 
take it right now. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't off. be so hasty to throw my money at it. Yeah, well, but why, why I, I, gave, I gave the demo a little go. Mm -hmm. I will say this, though. Seriously, yeah. stop zipping your goddamn Linux games. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's getting a bit annoying every time I unzip a game. I have to go in chmod plus exit. It's really, really the two seconds out of my life. That I could, r Jordan, I would rather Jordan, use. Jordan, don't about. you understand that you can just right-click on it with whatever fuck all file manager that you're particularly using, and maybe wait, go wait, to wait, some wait, obscure hold, fucking menu. Ben, Ben, and, Ben, Ben, stop, stop uh, for a second. What? No, uh, what? The fuck is a right-click? <gasps> it, it's that thing you you, you do in the uh, wireless gerbil. <laughs> what, 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 what's what's so, that? I, I, I don't use yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally wrong <laughs> because it's so easy to do that and. Just make it executable. The, 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 right what, what? click permissions. <laughs> yes, yes. But as, as Ven said, it is very, very nice to see a Kickstarter that is not dangling the Linux carrot above people's heads and actually yes. has a playable demo that you can go and experience this nifty little puzzle platformer. Pedro likes it because the controls are just the arrow keys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Actually, so, I tried the demo, I got all the way through it, and there's only, I could only find two things that I can sink my critic nails into, and that's respawning after dying takes One forever. of those nails is on his penis. I mean, seriously, why does it take so long? Because you have a calculator. <laughs> calculator. <laughs> That and the character animations, they felt a bit blocky. They, they well, weren't yeah, very yeah. fluid. I mean, they're, they're not perfect, but... Uh, yeah, but... Kind of looking at something that is those Kickstarter. Two, those two snafus will be fixed by the time the actual game is out, We so. missed that backer by one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but, no, seriously, we'll have this link in the notes. These guys definitely deserve your wet, stinky caches because they are doing it right 27 days to go how 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 rare is ben saying you'll do you're doing it right come on you yeah have to give a, you have to at least give him a look no oh, you're not done i'm just gonna let you get it all out of your systems so no I i'm done plug I'm done. these guys you, you, can, you can leave the camera hanging on me if you want yeah, you're so not done <laughs> i've seen worse <laughs> no but we'll have the link um in the notes, or you can find it on linuxgamecast.com. They're also looking for a green light. They did this absolutely right. They did yes, not they ask did. for a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. They basically said, hey, we're about 80% done with this game. We want to finish this final chapter, and we want to come back and put Polish on it. Not Polish. Hard for me to not say Polish. Like Pedro was pointing <laughs> out, maybe with some animations and stuff like that. And that's what they're working towards. So, you know, kick them a few shackles, man. Definitely. Uh, they're yeah, only looking these for guys, they're worth it. Anything? Bueller? Yeah, that, that, that about sums it up. That's, that's the end of our news section. Coming up next, we're going to stack and then throw some chairs. Well, isn't that counterproductive if we stack something and throw chairs at it? It makes it heavier so that it does more damage when it hits something. But you I never said that when you throw him. Uh, no, 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 no. But, yeah, let, let's yeah. throw Pedro the instead. It's all happened before, and it will happen and again. All, it will happen again, <laughs> coming up next. Now, our lawn chairs do some pretty fascinating things. Of course they fly through the air, but they can also get stacked, because they're stacking lawn chairs. And speaking of stacking, that's the game we're throwing our chairs at this week. This is a game by Double Fine. It's a puzzle stealth type thing. Adventure it's, it, game, maybe? Yeah, computer computer type game for your Linux Motron. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, you could have picked it up while there was that humble Double Fine bundle. It's on sale. It's good. on sale on Steam. And uh, it's from stackingvideogame.com so using the Buddha uh, engine. Well, what they're saying is explore a vintage world inhabited by the Vatrushka dolls, dolls, not Russian stacking dolls. 
They have a name, goddammit. Ah, uh, the imaginative third-person puzzle adventure. That's exactly what Master Sphinx just said. Listen to him next time when he talks. At the end of the day... A man sometimes knows what he's talking about. A, you little baby doll that can steal the souls of other people. So That's, pr that's pretty heavy metal. But you know what else is heavy metal? Our chair explanation. Oh, fine. Really? <laughs> yes, really. So, we rate everything on a four-chair metric based on four categories. The metric is one chair means it's complete garbage. Two chairs means that it's passable. Three chairs means that it's good. And four chairs means that it's orgasmic. Now, what are we going to do with that chair explanation if there's no categories? Well, I was going to get to that. Bringing up the categories now, we rate everything on our categories of doom, which are mixed with the working, which is does it work? Shiny and sounds, which is how does it look? How does it sound? Controls, how does it control? Obviously, if you can't piece that together, then please stop watching the show and hit yourself in the head with a hammer several times until you die. And finally, our one subjective category, fun. Now, the important thing to keep in mind about our crazy review system is that we are three very different people with three very different tastes running three very different operating systems. Well, really, two very different operating systems and three varying bits of hardware setups and whatnot with Ven using Ubuntu 12.04 32-bit. I'm using Fedora 18. Pedro is using Corora 19, which is a Fedora spill and remix type Summer thing. Summer Glow edition, yes. Summer yes. Glow edition. Because, <laughs> you know, you know, in two weeks, Corora project's going to die. Pe Pedro is like the black plague on these <laughs> things. But anyways, Ven did it make with the working. Makes with the working as something that we've come to expect, nay, demand. And. From a Steam game, especially from the Double Fine folks at Double Fine, it works out of the box. I didn't have any problems with it, and that is the Ubuntu 12.04 32-bit LTS running on mid-ranged NVIDIA graphics platform. So I'm going to take a it. shot. <laughs> Four chairs. <laughs> now, you got a bit of a dual setup. It's almost yes. double fine, isn't it? Yes, it is double fine and dandy. Actually, I got a triple setup. I can also test games on Intel integrated video cards as well. Mm -hmm. But I have a AMD-based Steam box, and I have an NVIDIA-based regular gaming PC. And on both of them, it worked right out of the box. So, I'm going to have to give that four chairs as per our metric. Pedro. Well, I'm the one the stuck man in the calculator. With the calculator. And every now and again, I like to throw a wrench in this well old machine, but it's a double fine game. And these guys, they know what they're doing, so four chairs from me. No problem. Well, whatsoever. that was a big, long, complicated explanation. Very in depth, very detail oriented. <laughs> We're going to have to do some really, really, really hard mathematics to come up with an average for four chairs from three people. I don't know. I'm probably, I'm, my guess is seven. I subtracted seven. It didn't work. We came up with this. It's, it's four chairs. So, touche, double fine. Touche, touche double fine. But we're going to get you. our double fine categories of shiny and sounds. Shiny and sounds, and this is, yeah, we're not going to give you four chairs all the way. There's no way. It's impossible. <laughs> These lawn chairs do not roll that way. Giggity. So, shiny and sounds, what we're dealing with is this. You are a little baby doll uh, that gets to inhabit the souls and control other people. I like this. <laughs> the, this really got my attention. At first, I neglected it, and this is why it's taken just a bit to get around to reviewing this game. Capture and stack. It looks fantastic, but it does suffer from something that I call the Double Fine Herky Jerk, which is also in Brutal Legend. Now, this is everything turned to 11 at 1080p. Nothing higher than that. Just standard 1080. Little bit of the Herky Jerk. Um, The random... Grunts, they get old after a bit of, well, with a quickness, to be honest with you. But I loathe 
filthy stink, I mean, uh, human contact. But just, just a voice. Just one little voice every now and then would have been nice. It is what it is, but I can't give it the four chairs, so I have to subtract and basic maths says three. J Man. Well, I, I gotta agree with Ven pretty much on everything he said. That more or less mirrors my opinion. The game itself has a very interesting concept and the world is represented very uniquely as you possess these Petrushka dolls. <laughs> you, you you violently go inside them and take control of their bodies. Jesus. Anyways, I too ran into the double fine herky jerk on my AMD box and on the NVIDIA box. Really? So, yeah. Now, when we say herky jerk, uh, it's not playable just, at all. It's, it's just random, like... It's ra random why? stuttering. When I say random stutter, it's... Why are you freezing at this point? We just loaded the level and all this beautiful stuff over here, then I get next to, oh, I don't know, a wall, and it's like... Eh. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. probably caused that, that, by that... vertical sync. No? Nope. We don't use V-Sync at LGC. No, sir. Give it a chance. Anyways, since the graphical stuttering is an imperfection, I can't give it the four chairs, even though it's a very cool-looking game with a very cool-looking art direction. The sounds, to be perfectly honest, I was listening to other music while I was playing this, so I didn't pay too much attention to the sounds. It's all Rick James, the entire soundtrack. <laughs> Sweet. I'm Rick James. She's all bitch. right. She's all right. Anyways, I'll give that three cheers. Three chairs, you say? Three chairs. Make it so. The Make force so. is apparently Amen. strong with you. <laughs> and I'm the one with the calculator, and I didn't suffer from the harky jerks, which is why V-Sync popped into my mind. It might have been that well, NVIDIA would you expect issue running it at 640 by 480 Yeah. <laughs> no, I was playing in 768p. The so, hell's yeah. that? Some moon resolution? <laughs> It's the you, you could just say thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> instead you have to go pull out the peas. Yeah, well he is the pea man. He is, well, <laughs> you know what? That man. is true. He is the pea man. Yeah. So pea man, what do you got to say about the shyness yeah, and the sound I didn't stacking? I didn't suffer from the herky jerks, but I did notice mm, that the background it, music and the grunting it gets teeny tiny bit repetitious and so it does not get the fourth chair but it gets a very deserved three chairs Ooh. well then because Again, it's a very good very, looking game very complex that. linear algebra some math proofs we gotta solve to tally oh. this guy up I'm gonna say uh -oh. 12 dozen chairs three three and three you know I voted Tuesday but it seems like it gets uh, three chairs instead of Tuesday <laughs> that, that's a goddamn shock. I, I, if I were a betting man, I would have lost a lot of money on that. <laughs> that's low-hanging fruit. So yes. up next, we do have the control section, right? No. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. It's because you've lost control of this, <laughs> and I am <laughs> taking in the reins. But we are talking about control for this. Now, does it work? Well, with the uh, movement, kind of. This is a type of game that you don't really want to sit in front of. Now, I understand games like, uh, you know, first-person shooter, strike suit, zero, beta, closed, whatever, that I'm playing. <laughs> That's something you want to be in front, you know, with the big monitor in your face pussy, hammering it out. Brilliant. This, no, this is not an FPS. This is something you might want to chill out and just play casually. But guess what? What, then? It, it doesn't work with my Logitech what? gamepad. What? I can't hear you. I need to talk louder. Why are we whispering? Shut up, Pedro. Brilliant. So... <laughs> That didn't work. Gamepad support couldn't get that working at all, so I was forced to sit here and play it with a wireless gerbil and the keyboard. Found that incredibly disappointing. 
end with a control. Every time there's a cutscene, and we're going to get to those, <laughs> every single time on this box, uh, tits up. Camera went tits up. Like, oh, look, Sky. I knew that was coming. <laughs> get to the point. I was like, cutscene's over. All right, let's recalibrate. <laughs> So the best I can give this critter on the controls is two chairs, J-Man? I did not have any issues with wireless keyboard or mouse. Or wired keyboard and mouse, for that matter. Uh, I will concede that the control scheme was a bit weird using Q and E as your two main action buttons. Uh, but you get used to it after a while. I still don't think that was probably the best choice. But what the hell do I know? I'm just some guy who is on a Linux gaming podcast. But I had no issues with the control scheme. Did so you throw it with the I will get, But I, like I said, the weirdness kind of is a bit off-putting. So I'll give it three chairs for control. Three chairs for control. Okay, now to tell you the truth, I didn't try with my uh, PS2 DualShock because it worked with a keyboard and I could change the, you know, the settings to adjust to my left-handedness and it works stupidly well. And even on those few timed puzzles that I ran into, it uh, the controls were responsive and I didn't have Venn's issue with the camera pointing up. So, four chairs for me. Mm. Now, this one actually does require some tough addition, subtraction, averaging, <laughs> division stuff. That's bad. You've already, you've already broke yeah. my brain. Yeah, yeah, three chairs. Three chairs. Three chairs. <laughs> Behold the mathematical And finally, genius. the this last, but not least, subjective Leviathan. category. Jordan Swing. So this is fun. Yeah. Get the fun. Wait, oh no, fun. that's the thing we're supposed to do. All right. That was not fun, but we're going to talk about the fun. <laughs> yes, so, talk about the fun, then. Um, no, go ahead. There's a cutscene. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, no the fun is, I mean, cutscene. Hey, hey, cutscene. There we go. Cutscene. Yep. Cutscene. And, cutscene. And cutscene. I want to play the cutscene. fuck mothering cutscene. game. Cut. Please. Scene. Cut. Cut. Damn it. Scene. Guess what? And, and, and scene. And scene. Did we mention cutscenes? Because I think we should... I no, I think know. you should reiterate that. What is it about this game that you didn't like, Ben? Pedro? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Damn it. See how easy that is. I know, it's great. <laughs> Anyways, continue, Ben. It's like flipping a switch. No, I did mention this definitely in the show notes, and that's what I'm looking at. And that's really what it boiled down to me. Was oh, I, I went back and I was like, is this meant for like three-year-olds or Tom <laughs> Duchesne? Because... Probably, probably Tom Duchesne. Yeah, fair point. So many... Uh, and all that. And every time you, you get to move for five minutes, it's like, here's a three-minute cutscene. And I was like, that's great. Two minutes. Here's another five-minute cutscene. I was like, this gets old as piss really quick. You realize that you've spent two hours playing the game, and by playing I mean you've probably spent a total of 15 minutes controlling it as opposed to watching things, and it doesn't get better the longer you play. I'm like, man, we got a lot of pre-rendered stuff, and guess what? <laughs> You're captive. You bought it, didn't you? <laughs> Here it comes. So, um, uh, yeah. Cutseats. I, I, hmm. That killed it for me. It just irritated me to two chairs. I, too, was perplexed by the obscene number of cutscenes that were completely unskippable. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sitting there with my thumb up my ass waiting for this dialogue that I really didn't care about to finish so that I could actually play the game. And when I finally got to the game, I discovered a very cool concept that I liked. And it reminds me very much of a social engineering type game. But it, it 
fails to capture my interest. I, you I mean played stealing like, souls? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it is. It is no FTL in soul stealing scale. But I, I like the idea of this game more than I'd like the game itself. Like every it's doll basic. has its own individual soul that you can reap. Yeah, that, 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 that's kind of cool, is that you have to use this Matryoshka doll mechanic to get around and solve puzzles. That's cool to me, but I just found myself bored by it. Hmm. I, I don't Like I said, I like the idea of this game more than I ultimately like the game itself. But it does it does have things that are worthwhile, and I do suggest that if you like puzzle games or if you're a fan of Double Fine, check it out. They've been supporting Linux for a fairly long time, comparatively for a big for a big name developer. Yep. So, but for now, I'm gonna give stacking two chairs in the fun category the double deuce. P man. Well, I'll concede the fact that the game does have a lot. Of cutscenes. I mean, in the first half hour of game, you get like three two minute long cutscenes, and you're like, I want to play. Come on! Jordan, is this another cutscene? I, I think Kinda, so. I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm still I'm playing the game. Start, Let us out! <laughs> for the love of Satan. But it is one of the best looking games in Linux right now, at least until Crisis comes Did along. And um, I love the fact that it lets you solve a puzzle in a number of different ways. And unfortunately, allowing you to do that also tickles that side of me that wants to get the achievements. And I don't like that side of me. I really don't. <laughs> that's called your penis, Pedro. That, that's uh, all the... Yeah, no. Well, that's that, that's the that... thing. Nori keeps his balls under a, ah, you know, a little nice ornate true, box under her true. bed. So this is this is how Pedro feels like a man. <laughs> It's that By increasing need his to get hundred percent and everything. I don't like that about me. I try my best not to be that OCD about games, which and really weirded game, me out when you joined the clan. It kind of tickles, yeah. And uh, it has a hold my hand mode. If you press the space bar, it shows you the way you have to go in order to get to a certain puzzle or to a certain solution to a given puzzle. Now, Pedro, I want to pick your brain about this in all seriousness. Shoot. Um, about the magical, um, don't even fucking bother playing the game, <laughs> just hit space <laughs> button. Is that, did we make a game that was so complicated that you needed that? Uh, it, like I said, it's for those people that want to have 100% in everything. If you're stuck and you can't find the last piece of the last puzzle just to get all the achievements, you can push the space bar and, oh! There it is. So, yeah, I don't think it is a bad thing. I don't think that they're pretentious enough to assume they've made a difficult game, I hope. No, I do like it in the aspect that is like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing right now? It, 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 it is a pretty open-ended game. That That is pretty yeah. neat. Yeah, until you genuinely start screwing with the um, multiple ways to solve the... We'll, we'll get it... Uh, Pedro, finish. <laughs> Fini finish it up, Pedro. There was actually a bug in the first Humble version that caused the game to crash if you solved a certain puzzle a certain way, but they fixed that now. So, yeah. Uh, for me, it gets three chairs in the fun department because, again, the cutscenes, they get in the middle of everything. <sighs> so, let's skip past this and go to our final tally for fun, and then our final tally and parting words for stacking by Double Fine. So, for the fun category, it gets a big, fat two chairs. Double deuce. And finally, we got four chairs, plus three chairs, plus two chairs, plus another three chairs. Divided by four brings us down to three full chairs. Now, Ven, do you have any parting words regarding stacking? Well, I got a chair explanation for your face organ. And oh! three chairs. That, we're not saying this just because <laughs> Double Fine fall, follows us on G+. We're not saying this. <laughs> Trust me, I really hate this game. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it just does very well on all the other non-subjective categories. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, it's a fantastic game. Then we get to that fun part. Then uh, uh, kind of 
a bit sideways on that. But, um, yeah, it's a thing, you know, a total of two of that, but a final score of three, definitely. Uh, what do you think, J-Man, P-Man, check it out. Is it worth yeah. 15 quid? I would wait till it goes on sale. Uh, if if you really want to try it out and this really seems like your cup of tea, then 15 bucks isn't a lot of money. But I would wait till maybe it drops to five bucks before I'd throw money at it. Yeah, it really depends on how you feel about puzzle games and double fine games in general. If you like the um, Psychonauts and maybe, you know, the... Uh, Dave. The metal Legend. band, <laughs> the metal RTS, that soul was stealing in dolls from your nightmares. Yes, those things. Yeah. So if you if you enjoy that, definitely worth the fifteen bucks. If not, like Jordan said, there's plenty of Steam sales going around all the time. Wait it out. So, so as, as as the souls exit our Matryoshka doll bodies, then what's coming up next? Mm. Well, every now and then, and by every now and then, I mean we deal with a flood of <laughs> hate mail. And we're about to dip into that bag for your viewing pleasure and say disparaging remarks about your great, great, great grandmother. Because that's what we do on Linux Gamecast Weekly, so let's get it. <laughs> So, after about an hour of us screaming in your direction, how about we read some of the things you screamed in our direction over the past week? Hmm? What do you say? Bad idea. I think Jordan... No, no, no. I think Jordan's got... Horrible. Don't do it. <laughs> Jordan's agrees Cut with scene. me, don't you, Jordan? Cutscene. <laughs> That's all he's been saying for like the past three hours and we finally get around to this. Yep, yeah, pretty much. I, I, I think it's because I had a stroke. But anyways, our first email, our first hate mail comes from Theme T, and it's entitled LGC Pipe Reviews Pipe A with an accent grave. Well, you might remember this game we did last week yes. called Private Private Infiltrator. Yep. Well, guess what? The developer wrote back to us. Yes, he's going to try and infiltrate our privates. And he says, Thanks for the interesting review. Harsh slash absolute criticism is just as helpful as any. YT doesn't allow large responses. But I can send you a bigger private message regarding all of those issues if you'd like. And here Two it notes. is. <laughs> Number one, there's only a single developer on the project. It's hard to expect extreme visuals engine when there is no person or money able to make them whatever that means. I don't remember number us. two porting to Linux was expensive and the dev wasn't able to afford it until now don't don't you mean you and I <laughs> key binding plus more improvements are in the works that being said I'll be checking out a lot of the things that troubled you in the game to find solutions improvements the game is still being worked on and is only recently released on Linux I see that a lot of features, options, and abilities were too unclear, which caused a lot of grief. The manual screen, the ability to run, oh, toggling first, oh, third person, oh, and oh, changing the lighting. Oh, All me. these exist, but aren't easy enough pick to, to make the pick game me. more Can welcoming in the future. Tears! Uh, you know what? Can, uh, can Pedro. Oh, yes. Okay, the first point, I don't remember us uh, complaining about the visuals not being up to par. What we did mention was that you could have had a perfectly working first-person game and you decided to shove that third-person view in for some goddamn reason. Uh, okay. It's one guy working on it. Fair enough. But we've had games with one person working on it. I mean, Salvation Prophecy comes to mind, and Salvation Yo. Prophecy... Retro Booster by Retro friend of the Booster. show and chat realm, Denison Magumbo. Yep. And, uh... Porting to Linux was expensive? Mm. It's a Unity game. Mm. I, I, I can't press buttons, though. Buttons are hard. <laughs> Ven? <Yeah. laughs> no, I, I, I did a bit of braining about this. About whether or not it was it, it would be expensive if you had to upgrade to the latest version of Unity, which allowed you to export, because that's clearly all you did was click export. 
But I'm going to give you kudos and a nod because this is what we like. Constructive feedback for a review. And it's a real review. This is not somebody saying, oh, I didn't like this game. This is three different people screaming about your Linux port and uh, might be good, might be bad. And we use launch as for a metric. You might always need to keep that in mind. We had issues with it, but this, this is always needed. And not just for us, for the community, people watching the show right now. And I'm just humbled that you're working on it. Okay, so I'm then, still working on it. I, I, th I think this next email is for you. Um, this one guy asks a question, and he says... <laughs> <laughs> expensive okay <clears throat> so, no uh, this guy his name is Frigia something free jack i don't uh, know free some I don't, some guy we don't know who he is some rando that showed up in our forums one day some hipster follow right behind him um, also hello chat room his Hello, name. chat room. He asked uh, something that captures gameplay and performance like FAPS. <laughs> Flaps. Flappity, flappity, fraps. Well, there's a couple solutions. Um, no. So, <laughs> what's up next? What's up next? This is oh, from the Vanquished Dudes. Oh, yep. what? Cameron uh, Fraser himself. A.K.A. Kron. He's sometimes in our Shet realm. Ever known again. Um, and he... Wait, you need to explain this. We've I've never heard of this game. What's it about? You've never heard of Unvanquished? No. Nope. That game that you and Jordan mentioned a couple of times no. before I was even on the show? No, no, and no, no, no. This guy after would... after I no. was on the show? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're not possibly talking about... Um... Do you know the game that we mentioned on episode 6, episode 16, 25, or episode 47? Nope, nope, mm -mm. nope, 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 yeah, totally. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember those episodes. <laughs> do we, do, we're, who am I? Where, where am I? When is this? Rohypnol, But yeah, guys. he describes it's unvanquished, or as they call him, un... <clears throat> okay, mm. it's a sci-fi themed FPS with RTS elements where you play as either melee combat based aliens or humans with guns. Some players may be familiar with this style of play from games like Natural Selection and Tremulous. He actually goes into detail explaining, uh, you know... You've had some issues he... getting it to run, right? Uh, I think I, we've all had issues We've all it. had issues with the Alpha 14, I think. The Alpha 14 didn't work for any one of us. No. Yep. It worked for some <laughs> Arch users, though, but... <laughs> Outside of that, at the end of the day, without reading the entire, um, Cameron Fraser, co-founder, Unvanquished Development. Yes, we do follow the project with a vengeance. Yes. Uh, if we miss anything, send us that note, but, uh, oh, this, I love this. <laughs> Cover our game on your show. Now, I, I cut out the part because it kicks butt. I shit you not. That, that was the actual. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't use fucking profane shit like that. <laughs> but is a bad word. Ew. We, we would get an explicit tag on iTunes. Yeah. Huh? What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? Man, I'm fucking talking about explicit tags. Well, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Stop fucking swearing so goddamn fucking much. How about you two stop fucking around and we get on with this? Oh, right. So <laughs> all right. Bob where? Eh? Bob where? That hurts the brain help? organ. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob we just shared your name. <laughs> What's this about? Something about a Google Plus comment? Wine, yeah. prostitution, and Gentoo. He commented on our... Uh, on our... That post that Ven made on Google Plus that I shared into the Linux, gaming on Linux community on Google Plus. Google Plus. Have I mentioned Google Plus? Uh, don't I, I don't think you mentioned Google Plus enough. 
I think I think you should yeah. give Google Plus one more mention and maybe make a post of that on Google Plus. Pedro knocked That's the dicks out of your mouth and read. <laughs> but yeah, he says great stuff as always. I would caution Pedro not to resort to prostitution during his long period of an All right, well, you will, uh, first of all. Uh, that, that's too little too late, man. <laughs> Me and J-Man here. Oh, he, we ran a train on this guy. He's been looking for a job way ahead of him. <laughs> I'm just not saying anything. I'm just throwing that out there. And ahead, uh, he's a regular user of wine. And... You know, to run games so and help maintain a few pages and even get Photoshop CS4 to run. And so he disagrees with Ven regarding last week's comments about, you know, being able to download the Windows games through Steam so to play it online. Imagine you were in a position where you had to summarize. How would you do it? Uh, I'd have to say that he's, well, he actually explains that there's no performance optimization going on. DRM doesn't work for any intents. He even goes out to say that Punk Buster is an evil cancer in the face of modern gaming, and I kind of agree. But Many older games, do. yeah, and older games like Stalker, uh, Aliens vs Predator, those already work platinum. They work out of the box. They have worked for the past since Wine One Point Three Point something, and those are the games that. Like I was saying last week, I'd like to be able to download and play. Yeah, I online. completely get the jizz of his email. Trust me. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. And he Z says, by the way, you may be amused to learn that I'm a light Gen 2 slash art user. No. <laughs> I, I think that's pronounced leet, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> leet? I'm more shocked oh, yeah. that you didn't include the word turbo. <laughs> Turbo Ultra Bacon Leet. <laughs> and it should have been an act to speak. No, I feel what you're saying, and you can absolutely disagree with everything we do because we do ourselves. We have to look at ourselves in the mirror. Yeah. Or a giant or a giant projector in a video game. Now this <laughs> this is from Andrew Pyle, our resident stalker. And he posts this <laughs> and it is just beautiful. My gorgeous face in Gary's mod. <laughs> Jordan. On your Linux. Wow. <laughs> Linux game cast analytics game. Boom. Doesn't get any more meta than that. Beautiful, yeah, man. You I love it. All right, Pedro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go take up, this picture and No, no, Pedro's English is broken. He mispronunciated sad. <laughs> Sad for you, maybe, that you're not in Gary's mod. Well, I am. <laughs> could your there's penis you get more erect? Right yes, it. it could. And you've seen that happen, Ben. You've seen that happen. It's kind many, of impressive, many, actually. I mean, <laughs> but has erect tricks. penises aside, that about wraps up our feedback section where we read your hate mail live on the air. But then, yeah. Maybe it, we it, should. It, it um, seems a bit quiet in here. Put the record on and cue that music. All right. Well, once again, you can check us out at linuxgamecast.com slash podcast. We got some RSS feeds there. We got our e-stocking guide. We got Amazon affiliate links. We got donation buttons. Uh, all that good stuff. You should click on all of them. Ten bucks gets you access to the show notes if you donate that. So. You know what? It's kind of neat to see the sausage before it's made. Uh, we got our live show. You should be watching us live every week. Why are they Starting watching us live? Oh, well. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Cause, because it's Quit like, killing them, night. Pedro. With your giggling death. I didn't say anything. The giggling death. Giggle. 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 Anyways, <laughs> linuxgamecast.com slash live every Saturday night at 9 o'clock. 9.15 usually is when we get started. But all PDT. sorts of good stuff. Watch the sausage as it's made. Lots of stuff doesn't get into this show. Some of the raunchier stuff. Some of the just random bitching about when Lex just throws or games or Well, what the music's you. running out, so where can they yeah, find so us? Yeah, so you can find me at The Burning Fool or plus Jordan Swung on Twitter, Google Plus, respectively. This guy is Ben Stone. You, or 
No, no, he's not Pedro. No, he's Pedro Mateus. <laughs> I didn't do that. Pedro. And accounted for, or plus Pedro Mateus. And this guy is also Pedro Mateus. And you can find him at Ben Stone, or plus Ben Stone on Google. Plus <laughs> Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> Two of them. Oh, no. But that's enough horror for this week. I think there's one thing and one thing left to do, Ben. What's that? Oh, don't forget Shot Room. Oh, yes. Join Shat Realm. It's on all the time on freenode.irc or irc.freenode.net hash LGC dash weekly. Join in the fun. It's trolly. It's good. So, once again, Shat Realm. Shat Realm. Shat Realm (laughs) static that is in the forums, but let's wave at the lovely developer who's watching us Re- watching us and masturbating <laughs> to us. Oh. 